Hi everyone, uh, my name is Crystal and I'm an independent Sensi consultant. Oh, I almost, uh, you know, messed that up. I always want to say Sensi independent consultant, but it's an independent Sensi consultant. Anyways, so today is my, I guess, empties halfway through the month. Uh, we're already at mid-December and things are already kind of piling up. So I figured I'd kind of go through what I've been melting and uh, let you know uh, what I thought. And uh, empty out this bin because I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of full. And we're only midway through the month. So uh, I'll just jump into it. Um, first thing I have here is uh, the Perfect Peppermint Hand Soap. So uh, it's not that I finished it. It's uh, if you see my other MTs video, I have a little like Santa soap pump that you can fill up. So I open it up and I dump this all in my little Santa soap pump, and I'm using it out of there. So it's not empty, but I've been using it, and I enjoy it as a soap. Um, it's very strong smelling. I'll just tell you that. So that's perfect peppermint. The soap. Uh, I really like Scentsy soaps. I've tried a few now, and um, I think I still have the Winterberry apple tea one left. I was just kind of saving the best for last. So once I finish that. I'll be using the Winterberry Apple Tea one. Okay, so next I have some bars here, a bunch of them. Okay, um, I went through a whole bar of sweet plum pastry. I love this scent. I put this all on my main floor, my daughter's room, just <laughs> all over. I just, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mmm. Now, it doesn't last the longest. I felt like it lasted a nice solid day. The next day, I could still smell it, but it was faint. So by that evening, I kind of ended up changing out the wax. But um, so good. I highly recommend this one if you haven't tried it already. I mean, I know not every scent's for everyone. But if you like um, bakery scents, and I know there's a lot of hype surrounding this uh, this scent. But if, if you've seen what people are saying about it and it sounds intriguing to you or worth a shot, it's definitely worth trying. I love it. Um, another one is Marshmallow Mint. Now, this one here, I have to say, I really, really loved. I enjoyed it so much. Very creamy. It reminded me of, like, the marshmallow from Bonfire Beach. Mixed with some very light, sweet candy kind of mint. Not, like, a peppermint, you know, toothpaste mint to me. However, <clears throat> I found out that my family do not like mint scents, like, at all. Um, another bring back my bar uh, bar is called Peppermint Dreams and that one's supposed to be chocolate cupcake with mint. Uh, maybe it's peppermint, I'm not sure, but I had that one going, the first one, before I even tried this one. I just put two cubes in because I have warmers. I have like an open concept kitchen uh, living room, uh, but it's not like huge with giant ceilings or nothing like that. So I have a couple warmers in the kitchen and, the, and some in the living room, and this was a really strong mint scent. So I decided, not this one, but the Peppermint Dreams one. And um, I put one cube in the kitchen, one in the living room, and I had gone out uh, to go grab my kids from somewhere, and it was just my two youngest. I come home and right away my son was like, Oh my God, mommy, why does it smell like gum in here? And then my daughter walked in after taking her winter boots off in our, our little mud room. And she was just like, oh, mommy, what is this? She's like, I don't like it. Please make it stop. So I immediately turned it off. And then they were complaining that they could still smell it. And I was trying to explain to them that it takes a minute to get the, you know, the scent away. So that's something that I'm going to have to, I guess, melt when they're not around. Because even my husband complained when he came home. He could still smell the mint, he said. Um... It was a very strong mint. I think uh, once it melts for a while, the chocolate scent comes out more. But I've only used two cubes, so I just want to let you know that's my thoughts on that one. But this one here is uh, so much more like sweet candy mint with marshmallow. Nice and creamy. I really like this, but my family did not. And I mean, they didn't complain as, as heavily as they did about Peppermint Dreams, but they really didn't like it. So, I don't know. I'm torn. Um... Peppermint Dreams was okay, but I haven't tried it enough to really get a good sense of it. So I got to get like them all out of the house for like a day or, or so or get my kids on a sleepover somewhere so I can really give it a good shot. And this one I did, I was like kind of like too bad, tough it out. And they they did complain. But uh, but I really like it. So I'm kind of torn. I, I really wanted to get it again, but that's the point of melting it. Everyone's going to complain when I do, but I really enjoy it. So that's my thoughts on that. And I don't really like mint scents very much. Uh, another one... Stick that there. Uh, I got through was a whole bar of cozy chai. This is the current bring back my bar. I believe it's like cinnamon, vanilla, and it's supposed to be caramel, but 
I always say I get like a fancy coffee shop. I get like cinnamon and spice. Maybe I thought there was more than just cinnamon in it, but I guess not. I don't really necessarily get caramel, but it's like, um, like a, I don't know, coffee shop. I don't go to Starbucks very, I think I've been there like three times in my life and I, that's what it makes me think of but I mean you might be sitting there watching going no way no way I go there every day so maybe it's in my head I don't know uh, but to me I get like and I'm not saying that Starbucks is like super fancy but just it smells like a coffee shop but like not like a, a Tim Hortons if you know what that is not just straight up like a coffee and donuts place kind of thing like they got more going on than just coffee and donuts anyways cozy chai um, next is, uh, let's see. Ooh, I went through a whole bar of winterberry apple tea. Love this scent. I love it all over the house. I had this going in my bedroom at one point. My kids requested it. This is so good. I believe it's like cranberry, honey, tea. So good. It's so good. Love this. I highly recommend this. This is one of my favorite scents, I think, ever from, uh, from Scentsy. Okay, I'm just separating some a bit here. Now, if you saw, um, oh, uh, Cookies for Santa. This was in the Sense of the Season wax collection. Now, this is supposed to be, I believe it's like sugar cookies with, I think it's like brown sugar and like a glass of milk. This is totally bakery, sweet, but like really sweet. And I, don't, I keep thinking it's the milk that's kind of, there's something in here I feel like that's just that turned it from like, I went, mm, to, mm, what's that? Like, I just feel like there's something in here that's not making it quite right for me to really enjoy it. Like when I had the tester, that smelled, you know, but it was tiny. And as this is bigger, I'm like, woo, there's something in here I don't like that. Mm. So I, I got the one bar, my kids really enjoyed it. They loved it, but I won't be getting any more because oh, I make the decisions around here and they have other ones that they love. I have so many that they can choose from that they, they're going to forget about this one in no time. But to me, it's just, mm, sorry, it was all right, but there was just something in it that I kept kind of going, what is that? So I, oh, hang on, my son's calling for me. Oh, sorry about that. He just needed a snack refill. <laughs> okay, so I'll go through this kind of quick. I went through Central Park Pralines, which is, I think it's pecan. It just smells nutty. Like nutty goodness. If you like n good nutty scents, that's a good one. Johnny Appleseed, classic Macintosh apple scent. They better be coming back with this guy come <laughs> the new catalog, I swear. Um, Here's... <laughs> I went through two more sensationals real quick. Pecan and waffle. I already talked about this one in my last empty. It's really good. This was my second bar because I bought two. And I had two of these, I believe, in my stash. They're holiday cookies. It's just basically like ginger snaps. Gingerbread, ginger snaps. Really good. So that's just that. Um, I finished up just one bite from the Villains collection. This was like cinnamon, apple, and oomph to it. I think it's the molasses that gave it that oomph, but it was really good. Not good enough to make my club though. Like I said, I had to get really picky. Uh, I went through a bar of jeweled pomegranate, which is, an, I think it's just like pomegranate and um, cinnamon. Mm, really nice. I have a whole brick of it, which I already started kind of chopping up a bit to get a head start on. I might have one, oh, sorry. I might have one more bar to use up first, but I just got ahead on myself with the, the chopping of the bricks. Now, um, there it is. Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl. That's the name I was thinking of. <sighs> I did another video the other day about the Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl and anyways, couldn't remember the name of it. It was bugging me. Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl. Really good. Highly recommend this one. I have four scent circles that we used up. One was sea salt and avocado. This is a really great scent. We've got breakfast in bed. Really good. One of my favorites. Mm. Black raspberry vanilla. This was surprisingly really strong. Really good. And apple butter frosting. I really enjoy this scent. Mm, good. And, um, yeah, I ended up using uh, an Arctic Kiss tester. And I really enjoyed that scent. It's December scent of the month. I went through two pods. I've got uh, the second Amazon Rain. I had that going in my laundry room. And this one here is, oh, um, Feeling Pine. 
I just got my, my uh, entrance way. Really nice if you like Christmas tree scents. It's really nice. Now, these last ones here, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five bars. These were all, if you watched, I did a, a recent video. My uh, sister-in-law gave me a bunch of bars, so I went through some of them. Uh, one of them was Pacific Daydream. I actually went through two bars. Um, I did end up giving a couple cubes to my mother. She wanted to try this one. Um, if you see, th this was like a scent of the month um, back in... It's like 2015 or 2016. So you can see when bars, older bars, um, can get kind of, um, you know, I want to say like, the, it's like the oil separates from the wax a bit. So it gets kind of leaky, I guess is the word to say. So I wanted to make sure to get through these ones first. So I did end up using two. This was a really nice beachy scent. Mmm. And I'm glad I got to try this one because when uh, the next Bring Back My Bar comes along, I might give this one some votes because uh, now I know what it smells like. That's what I really like about this is I got to try scents that I never would have tried. Um, so I was really excited. Pacific Daydream, I did two bars and it was really good. Uh, Country Plum is another one I got to try, which was, I believe, Plum, there's Cabernet Wine and something else. My kids, my two girls love this scent. Again, you can see it's, it's an older scent. It was a scent of the month. Um, so there is a bit of the oil residue, but I got to say, these were strong scents. It didn't affect the quality, I find. So, yeah, they're older. You might see some leakage and whatnot, but so far I haven't noticed a difference. Another one to show you an example of that would be uh, Jammy Time. Now, this scent is currently in the avail uh, available in the catalog, but you can see it used to be in the, the kids section. And, like, I'm not sure how old or how long she had this one, but... Oh my God, it was still so strong. I had this going all around the house. It was just nice. It's My kids love it for bedtime. This was really good. Like I said, um, when they get older, some tend to separate. Some just kind of do that. Like my uh, apple cherry apple strudel, that kind of does that. If it's been sitting, I think, for around six months or so, it starts to get kind of oily. So then I know to use it up. So, but like I said, it doesn't, I feel like it doesn't affect the quality. Uh, and the last one I got to try was Southern Evening, which to me... I felt like smelled like a men's cologne mixed with like a maybe like a flower garden of some sort. Um, my family didn't like it. They kind of said, what are you doing, mom? What's with this? But I actually really enjoyed this Southern Evening. I was surprised. I would probably melt this again without my family here because they, they complain, <laughs> but I enjoyed it. So that's Southern Evening. That was a bring back my bar that came back this past July. So anyways, that's everything that I got through. Let me know um, what you've been getting through. And I um, hope everyone's having a great day wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you next one. Bye, guys.